December 27th, so it is two days after Christmas. I am going to a coffee shop in a few minutes uh, to meet my friend and another friend who lives in New York now, so we don't see her very often. We have to work on our portfolios and like LinkedIn pages, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm sure we're gonna talk for like two hours before we actually start doing anything because that's just always what happens. I was thinking about filming like a what I got for Christmas video that I'm gonna put into this video which I think I'm also gonna include the pasta making little section that I had. That was my mom's birthday. We made pasta for her at my boyfriend's house and and then this will be you and me going to see my friends and then we're going to do a little Christmas haul. It's gonna be great, it's gonna be great. I just watched uh, Ava Jules, her Christmas haul and I was like, yeah. I used to watch those all the time growing up. So why not film one myself? And I did my hair this morning, it looks a little crazy. Kind of juxtaposing with the outfit of sweatpants and a sweatshirt. But I recently got into blowouts with like a, a, a round brush and a blow dryer, which I have too much hair and it just takes me so long to do it. It literally takes me half an hour. So I asked for, I asked for this brush for Christmas and it's just like a heated blowout brush and it worked really well. I've also noticed that when I, when I blow dry my hair with the, to do the blowout, it doesn't hold the curl very well. So far, this is holding the curl. I guess we'll see what it's like after a couple hours, but I normally just do like a little hairspray, a little dry shampoo and like my roots if I need it, and some texture spray and a little hair oil. So we'll see how it holds up. I do have to go feed a cat. I'm cat sitting. Let's go feed the cat. Hi. Hi, cutie. Hi. Are you ready to eat? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Very cute. Very cute. She always knows the drill about the food. She knows she gets a scoop of this in the morning. Oh yeah, there you go. Cutie. Thank you. It's always so hard for me is like how to how to lay out my page. It's like what do I want? Do I want like each project? Or it's like at a point it gets to be too many projects. Yeah. 
the hot sauce in yours? Yes. 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 Okay, we're playing a very dangerous game right now with how you're balancing. Now I'm going to do the what I got for Christmas portion of this video. It's Ollie Bear. Hi. This lighting is not the sexiest and I just don't really know what to do about it. I think I think my pale skin tone is is the problem. Okay. So, let's start with just what I have next to me. I got three sweatshirts this year. Well, this one I bought for myself actually. I bought a sweatshirt for Chris, well, the sweat set for Chris, and I couldn't hold myself back and I bought a sweat set for myself. So, that's what this sweatshirt is. This one's from Maurizio. My friend Presley got me this one from Skims. It's just like a really deep forest green color. I've never had a Skims sweatshirt before, so I was wearing it yesterday. It's definitely cozy. Very soft. And then my mom got me just this Heather gray one from Lululemon. She ordered me stuff from Lulu a few months ago and just gave it to me for Christmas. So that's what this was from. Oh, and my sister, Willow, she gave me this little bracelet right here. It's from Gior Georgiana, Gor Hor that brand, you know, that starts with the G that people buy from. She got me that and it's super cute. It matches with my watch that Chris got me last year so well and I love it so much. This is kind of random. My mom went to Spain and Italy a few weeks ago to visit a friend who moved there and she came back and just put these in my stocking. These are smints. They taste like icebreakers so they're like not super minty. They're fruity and I also have a lemon one. They're really good. She also got me these things from Italy. It comes in these adorable little tins. And they're just these little tiny candies. I don't even know what... I don't even know what they are, but they're so good. And the tin is freaking adorable. So, Chris's mom got me this candle. It's evergreen pine, so it smells absolutely delicious. Yes excited to burn that my mom i've been wanting this perfume for a while god bless her heart because i've really put it through the ringer with this one i asked for the noir 29 from le labo and i would never actually worn it before so i didn't know if i actually like enjoyed the scent i just smelled it at nordstrom's a couple times and so i went to nordstrom's with chris and i smelled it and i was like i don't know if i like this anymore Maybe I just want the Discovery set so I can test out the waters with all the scents. And lo and behold, I told my mom that same thing and she had already bought this. And so I probably made her freak out internally, but I do like it. It smells just delicious. And I'm wearing, I've worn it the past two days already and I get compliments when I wear it. So that's how you know, it's a good perfume. I showed you this already. It's a hairbrush, heated hair tool. There are some disembodied hairs on it because I did use it this morning. But I've been giving myself blowouts recently and this makes it a lot easier. So I don't have to have a hairbrush and a blow dryer in my hands. I can just have one tool. This is from the band brand Sutra. So far I like it. And then Chris also got me this diffuser. It comes with a little handle that you can put right here like so you can pick it up and carry it around. I've never heard of this brand before. It's like Sony SM, I think. Take the lid off and you just put your stuff in there. He told me he knew I wanted the Le Labo diffuser, but that's like, you just cannot really find it anywhere unless you order it online. It's also $400 for some reason, which I didn't really know that. And then the actual essential oil that you put in it is like another $100. So it's definitely expensive. And he told me that I could just buy the oil, the oil that I want from them and put it in here. And I was like, yeah, that's smart. So I have this all charged up and it even lights up a little bit. I don't know if you can even see it. I can see it right there. It lights up and you can have it on a timer. So like when you're going to bed, you can have it as a nightlight. It's cute. I'm looking forward to using it. These are some essential oils to go in it. My mother also got me this sand cloud beach towel it 
repels sand when you're on the beach so you don't have a super sandy towel when you're leaving and getting sand all over the place. Chris and I are traveling to Europe when we graduate this June. This will be handy. I do know a lot of beaches can be rocks, however, but just in case. Chris's mom, I always, for the past like two years, I've asked for this. It's a facial gift card for this girl faced by Aaron in Portland. I like to get facials from there. I got a facial from them for a gift like two years ago and every year since I've asked for Christmas and for my birthday for a gift card to them. So every year I look forward to a facial. Another kind of random thing my mom got me for our travels is wall adapters or plug-in adapters um, for our chargers and stuff. That'll definitely be handy. I love gifts that are useful and like things that I know I'm gonna use. These I'm obviously gonna use. One less thing that I have to worry about buying for myself in a few months. Then I was also given an air tag for my luggage. Um, that's what I, I wanted it for my luggage so that way if anything gets lost, I am able to keep track of it. So I think that's gonna be really handy dandy. Next thing I got, Chris's sister-in-law gave me just some makeup brushes. Can't really see them since they are black, but I've had the same like Eco Tools makeup brushes since, Lord, I don't even know when. It's been a long time that I've had them. This was like something that I didn't ask for, but it was a great gift. I'm definitely gonna use them because I always need makeup brushes. It's also from the company Young Blood Cosmetics. I've heard good things about it. She really likes them. The girl who gifted them to me, she really likes their brand, so. Next thing I asked for that my uncle actually got me were these beats that like stick in your ear and wrap around. The AirPod Pros, they don't stay in my ear if I'm doing any sort of cardio or like training where I'm up and moving around. They fall out so I can never run in the gym because my AirPods will just fall out. So these, I did try them on. They seem like they will be a lot sturdier so I'll have to give them a test run. But I'm hyped about these. Thank you, uncle and cousin. I appreciate you. The last thing my mom got me, well actually no, she got me in some other stuff in my stocking. She got me chopsticks. Thank you mom. We always get sushi um, and bring it back to the house and we always have to buy the little wooden chopsticks. So she got me my own pair of chopsticks. They're from Spain too, which seems kind of random, but they're so cute. They're black and they have like this little white stone at the top they're dirty because i used them yesterday so they are in the sink currently but they're perfect i love them thank you mommy and then my mom really hit it out of the park with this one um she even said that she should have just bought me this and left it at that and i agree she got me my own pair of fry boots i would always wear her boots because she has these and she's had them for years and i always ask to wear them Hers are a size 10 though, and I'm an eight and a half. So while they fit, they're big and I'm swimming in them. So she bought me my own pair. They're so cute. So these are a size nine, so hopefully they will fit me better. I'm not looking forward to breaking them in because I feel like it's gonna be a lot of blisters, but this is really a lot, mom. And I really do appreciate it and I cannot wait to wear them. Okay, it doesn't matter. Besides that, I got like a little like gift cards here and there, throwing it back to like the old YouTube days, the lifestyle girlies in 2012 or whatever it may have been, say their little disclaimer that I'm not trying to brag or show off in any way, shape or form. I just love watching these videos. So I assume there are other people out there who would also like to watch these videos. I'm very thankful for all that I have, all the time that I got to spend with my family. We are so lucky to be able to actually gather and exchange gifts the way we do. So I'm very thankful for everything. I don't know if this is going to be the end of the video or if there's going to be more. If this is the end of the video, thank you so much for watching and I will see you probably in the new year. Be safe. Happy new year. Thank you for watching. Bye. Thank you.